Hi, uh, welcome back to my channel. I am Mangesh, and in this video, uh, we are covering our next session. We will see how to delete the table permanently from the database. And everyone is saying that drop is a statement which helps to delete any database objects permanently from the database. But on table level, if you are using drop statement, then your table will get deleted and it will get stored in your recycle bin. Now, recycle bin is a what? In Windows also, we have a recycle bin. If we delete any files or directory, it will go to that. And you have one more chance to record those files from your recycle bin. And if you delete any everything from recycle bin, then uh, obviously you will not able to recover it. So such a features Oracle uh, company has launched after Oracle 11G version. So we will see what kind of uh, option is this and how to drop table permanently from the database that practically sessions we will cover in this video. So please focus guys. Uh, let me go to my database uh, and here let me execute one query. How many tables I have in this database? Yes, I have this uh, EMP1 table. You can see if I want all the columns from the employee one, then this is what my query. So in this table, I have three columns, uh, employee ID, name and salary and uh, names are Mangesh, Ramesh, Suresh, all those. And I want to delete this table. OK, with the help of delete, what will happen? It will delete uh, all the rows. Truncate will also delete all the data from the table. But table remains same in database, right? So let's go with the drop statement to delete the table permanently. Drop table EMP1. See, uh, I have successfully dropped that table. Now, uh, let me do select star from tab first. I am not able to see that table. Uh, EMP1 table is not present. Look, look at here. But there is one binary table got uh, created here. Uh, I'll tell you what is that binary table. And if I'll do select star from employee one, obviously I will not get any data because this table is already deleted and it went to Oracle recycle bin. So let me see how many tables went in my recycle bin. I will do show recycle bin. Hey guys, uh, there is a one table called as EMP one. Uh, this is what the binary name of that table and this table deleted on time and date you can easily see here so uh, if i want to get that data see what is the data present in this table so let me copy paste this binary name or you can do uh, simply select star from tab you can easily see what is the name of that table here you can see the binary name but you don't know uh, this binary name is for which table so that you can easily identify in show recycle bin option so my uh, employee one table has this binary name and what is the data present in my employee employee one? See, if I want that data, so my SQL query looks like that. Uh, in double denoted comma, I will use that binary name and let me execute it. See, the same data is available. Now, if you want to restore this table again, then there is a one more statement which you need to use. So let me go back to my PPT. Uh, here you can see recycle bin why come in the picture recycle bin help us to recover the drop tables and flashback command you can use to restore that tables so let me go back to the database and use this command flash back flashback table uh, let me use emp2 first uh, emp uh, oh sorry EMP, no, it's not emp2 it's a EMP one. Let me show you what is a uh, table name. Recycle bin. Oh, it is taking that entire one. So let me select this, execute. Uh, EMP one, and this is what the binary name of my table. Till here. Okay. Uh, flashback to table. Here I will not finish my query because I need to write down one more. A line over here and this line is very compulsory to before drop this one to before drop so let me execute this it will automatically restore my table flashback succeeded now use select star from tab let's see that table is present or not select star from tab look at this I got my table back in my database again and if I will use this one 
I'll get my entire data. See, now we have used drop statement to delete the table permanently from the database, but it went to our recycle bin. But I want to delete that table from the recycle bin as well. So what you need to do is first use drop statement. So with the help of this, your table will get deleted. And now uh, you need to use one more command. We will go to the next page. Here you can see purge. Purge option you need to use to delete the table permanently from the database. So let me use this purge table EMP one. So it will permanently deleted your table from the database. You can see show recycle bin. You don't have anything. Okay, because uh, everything is already deleted from recycle bin. Recycle yes, recycle bin nothing present in here and uh, that table is also not present select star from tab this table is also not present here and suppose uh, and it is not possible to restore also because it's permanently deleted you can also use per table emp2 let's see what happened with this because i have emp2 table also here okay so purge directly is not working because when purge you can use to delete the table from your recycle bin okay so first delete your table and then you can use purge table and that table name you can use to remove the list of the tables present in your recycle bins or you can easily use purge recycle bins so how many whatever tables are present in recycle bins it will delete it all this this command used to delete the single table this used to delete all the tables which is there in the recycle bin so in this video uh, i wanted to cover only these things about recycle bin and how to delete table permanently usually drop statements will delete it but uh, till oracle 10g it was the feature but after 11g they have introduced recycle bin feature in oracle database and uh, other database objects like uh, we will cover in the next session uh, we can use drop statement to delete the database objects like uh, let me go to the new PDF. Uh, my new PDF is available here. Uh, my videos are pending, so reason I have not shown this video uh, this PPT. Uh, here we can see we have performed all the actions on the table. Uh, database objects is the first one is a table. We know how to create a table. We learn how to create a table with constant. Uh, we learn how to modify table, uh, insert, update, delete. Uh, we we only one uh, op uh, operation is uh, pending on table level like how to add a columns so that time we will use alter statement add remove and update the column so that's it in this video uh, in next video we will cover few sequence index and synonyms other pending database objects so see you again in that video thanks for watching